Hi everyone, this is Abhinav from Phone Bunch, and today we are benchmarking the Carbon Titanium S5 Ultra available for Rs. 7000. It comes with a quad core MediaTek processor MP6582 with a 5 inch QHD display. You can see from right there 4 cores, Mali 400 MP2 GPU powers graphics, 961 MB of RAM, and about 2 GB of internal storage is available. You have an 8 megapixel primary camera capable of recording 1080p videos and a 2 megapixel front facing camera is also available. You have a 2000 mAh battery and you have an accelerometer, proximity and light sensors all working fine. Now we are going to run the Antutu benchmark. We have fast forwarded all the benchmarks to get to the results quickly. So we got a score of 18390, similar realm as the Android One handset. But you have to remember this phone features a high resolution display and it's lower than the Xiaomi Redmi 1S. Now we are running the Quadrant benchmark. It's the full benchmark here as well. So we got a score of 7196 which is a very good score, higher than the Micromax Canvas A1 as well as the Carbon Sparkle 5, lower than the Xiaomi Redmi 1S. It's graphics benchmark time, we are running Nena Mark 2, it will give us an FPS rate and we got 57.9 FPS which does mean that high-end games should be playable on this device. We'll definitely check that out in our gaming review. Now we are going to run the Velamo HTML5 chapter, it will run Sun Spider as well as Octane. The scores are now loading up. Let's have a look. We got 1736 which is among the Android One handsets as well as around the Redmi One S as well. And you can see it's just below the HTC One running Android 4.4.2. Now we are running the Metal Chapter of Veromo specifically to test the processing capabilities of the device. We got a score of 651 which is quite a bit lower than the Android One counterparts. The Micromax Canvas A1 got a score of 779. Now we are running the Single Thread Linpack test. We got a score of 110, which is more than twice what we got with the Android One handsets and 212 on the multi-thread test. Again, an excellent score. It's multi-touch test time. I have six fingers on the display, but only five are detected. So it's a five-point multi-touch display. Now coming to USB OTG connectivity, I have a USB OTG thumb drive. I've just plugged that in and you can see that it has actually not been detected. Now we will get into storage. And we'll see if it has been mounted or not. And you can see from right here that the USB storage is not mounted. It's not available here. So USB OTG is not supported on the device. Even in terms of daily usage, you will see that there is a slight hint of lag in the device. Very slight. But the display has good touch response, wide viewing angles, but it does seem a bit pixelated. Overall, the Carbon S5 Ultra has good build quality. Moreover, it scored quite well in our benchmarks tests. Considering this phone is available for just Rs. 7000. We'll be back with its gaming review. Till then, you can watch its unboxing from right here, as well as the benchmarks of the Carbon Sparkle 5 Android One smartphone. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share any questions. Just hit us in the comment section. Do visit phonebunch.com for the latest news in mobile technology. Thanks for watching and have a great day.